Welcome to this edition of Train for Aptitude. In today's session, we look at the first concept in the problems related to trains. Let us now read the problem. A train is moving at 90 km per hour and crosses an electric pole in 9 seconds. What is the length of the train? Our options are A. 810 km B. 225 meters C. 225 kilometers D 810 meters Let us now begin visualizing the problem at hand. The first observation we need to make is that the pole would have a negligible width compared to the length of the train that is passing by it. So we could easily ignore the additional distance in consideration. Given that the electric pole is stationary its speed is 0 km per hour. The train is approaching the pole at a speed of 90 km per hour and would completely cross it in 9 seconds. What is interesting to note here is also that the unit of train speed and the time to cross the pole are not uniform. One is in km per hour and the other is in seconds. This would be the first hurdle we would need to cross. We would need to get the units into meters per second. Let's now visualize the next sequence. The train has passed by the electric pole. Given that the electric pole is of negligible width, the total distance that is covered by the train would be nothing but the train's length itself. What is interesting is also that the relative speed that we need to calculate. The relative speed in this case is only that of the train moving, since the pole is stationary. Given the information we already have, we can complete the calculations by merely dividing the distance of the train by the relative speeds. Let us now get to calculating the answer. Given that the speed of the train is 90 km per hour, we would first need to convert it into meters per second. The calculation would give us 25 meters per second as shown. The relative speed of the train is the next point that we need to take care of. The speed of the train plus the speed of the pole. The speed of the pole in this case is 0 meters per second and therefore the relative speed is 25 meters per second. To cross the pole it is mentioned that the train takes 9 seconds. The total distance that the train would have covered in this exercise is that of its distance of its length itself. That is nothing but the speed of the train into the time taken which is 225 meters. Let us now generalize the approach to the solution. The step one is nothing but making note of the various informations that is available in the problem like the speed of the train, the dimension of the train or of, the, of any other object that is mentioned. The next step is to ensure that the units of speed, dimension, time are all consistent. If they aren't then we would need to make them consistent. This is a typical phase where most of the mistakes could occur in problems of this nature. Step 3 Very often we do not have a single object moving unlike in this specific case. There could be more than one object moving. So the relative speed plays a very crucial role. A simple rule of the thumb that one could use in calculating the relative motions or speed is as follows. One, if the two objects are moving in the same direction, the relative speed is nothing but the difference between the two speeds. Second, if the objects are moving in opposite directions, one would need to add their speeds. As the last step, we calculate the distance travelled by the train in the given time at the calculated speed. Since the size of the pole is negligible, this would also be the length of the train. Therefore, we have the answer. Thank you for watching Train for Aptitude.